cried today twice already. The second one, 20 minutes. Like a long, like, like a long one. <laughs> it's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah. All right, y'all, tapping back in. A few things to cover today while we eat what I coin as uh, my, my trashy penne. <laughs> it's, uh, there's a few things, and you guys have known this. I think I've made it before on the channel. It's been just a long time since I've had it. Um, there's a few things from my Eastside Mario days that I just, I can't, like, there's a few dishes there that I just, like, can never forget. And this is kind of like that. It's a rendition of it. Um, and it's just, like, a dirty... Simple, not classy at all. Penne, so, hence trashy penne. But uh, before we do anything more, we must pour. And today we're rolling in with the, uh, <laughs> that two liter of the 50 cent pouch cherry juice, that no name brand cherry juice. But be honest with you, it is delicious. It reminds me of my, uh, Grade nine and 10 days. Always had cherry and peach in the cupboard at home. And me and my best friend at the time would be, we would, he would come over, we would get stoned. And he would just always drink a lot of ch cherry juice. <laughs> and his name was Jerry. So Cherry Jerry, but we never called him that. Anyways, uh, so a little description on this um, is it's just it's a it's a vodka sauce. The uh, original one should be bolognese, but I looked at it on the shelf. I just assumed it, it looked bolognese, but then I got it home with a vodka sauce. Whatever. Thinned it out with some sour cream and made it like a rosé because I had sour cream that needed to be used up. And then it's just uh, <laughs> penne cooked to the gills, like to to not mush, but closer to mush i'm i don't really rock with al, al dente like that and then um cheddar cheese melted all over it i added the crispy onions because you know me uh diced tomatoes and uh sour cream dollops so i know it sounds disgusting but i promise you it's like a mexican pizza <laughs> of pasta i don't know something like that But it's so good. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> first things first. I know I, I do seem, seem stoked and jovial. I am feeling kind of like pretty happy right now. I'm not all better. I'm not all fixed. Um, cried today twice already. The second one, 20 minutes. Like a long, like, like a long one. <laughs> um... They come and they go. When you're going through these weird mental states. Um, am I ashamed to say that? Fuck no. It's all about our smiles and our cries. <laughs> if you've ever seen Training Day. Smiles and cries. Ethan Hawke. And then Denzel, but Alonzo. Smiles and cries. He's, he's high as a kite. <laughs> But really, it is about smiles and cries. Good thing. I've never been ashamed to cry, honestly. Uh, I don't subscribe to the whole societal patriarchal thing of like crying as weakness and makes you less of a man. <laughs> I just think it makes you a human being. And both male and female <laughs> sexes were given. And that's a divisive term these days. Uh, we're given all the entire range of emotions that, that, that a human can feel. So to allow yourself to feel those things, to me, it made me feel better. I, it was cathartic. I had to get it out. That emotion had to go somewhere. And if it wasn't going to go out of my aqueducts, right, <laughs> out of my eyes, <laughs> then it was going to stew and be buried and live in here and live in my body and just cause me 
you know, turmoil, inner turmoil. So, there's two things when you have a good cry. Catharsis. It's like weight lifted off your shoulder, off your soul. You get the energy out, and then you're either kind of more uplifted in your mood, or you want to take a nap. Because <laughs> don't you remember when you were a baby, or like a toddler, and you had to cry, and you're just like, <laughs> you're out after it? But I ain't, I ain't ashamed to admit it. I've cried in front of, I've had like dude friends and I've cried with dude friends. Like it's all good. <laughs> no issue. Let it out, man. Cause that stigma is too, it's too rigid, man. This is why male suicide So high. Telling men they can't be fully who they are. Kind of fucked up. Anyways, that leads me to say this. Obviously, I'm talking about my last video. I read through the comments. Um... I just have a couple, some feelings I have to share. A, um, thank you, like, so much. I love that you guys give me that vulnerability and you come out to tell your stories about, you know, we're, people who struggle with these things are not alone. Like, we're not, we're, you know, we're not crazy and we're not alone. And then you read through other people's stories that are just so incredibly that much even harder than your own and it makes you feel like okay like it could yes it could be worse and I'm so sorry that that's happening to you or has happened to you but hey These are the stories of our lives, right? And these are the things that unfold that write our ultimate book. So I guess we have to accept them and allow them to be what they are for each of us as our lives individually and uniquely unfold. And some are struck with great tragedy. I mean, all life ends in tragedy, basically, but it depends on how you look at it. There are cultures who have, you know, the funeral is more of a, like a graduation process, like a, uh, a party of, you graduated from earth school, like, good, and good next journey. But, anyways, when I make videos like that, depression, anxiety, then you see more views and more comments, my head immediately, it knows. The more engagement with these, with these comments means that people are coming out of the woodwork to give you a um, encouraging word. And I know that rationally in my brain <laughs> when I look at the comments, but my insecure, defeated brain goes, but 2% of those comments are going to be people who are really going to, they're going to stick it to you. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then you get terrified to go through your comments. And that's the mind F of social media, that only 2% on the negative scale <clears throat> could deter you from so much positivity. And I hate that that's how that the human brain works. And I've... You know, I was better at it in the past, I think, honestly. I was... I 
I think I had a stronger mindset a few years ago, honestly, in that regard. But a trending theme is, and this is even from people who talk to me just, you know, in my, in my circle of life, and in the comments is, I think you're just being really hard on yourself. And that's true. And people are telling me to not feel so hard on myself and drop the shame and the guilt mentality, drop the perfectionism mentality, drop the you know, gotta you know, just ease up a bit, like on just where you're at. Don't give up, but, you know, just stop being so tough on yourself. Not something I think we could all get better at. Unless you're really cool with yourself. And you don't torture yourself about yourself in your head. Then cheers to you. But yes, ultimately there was beautiful messages in there with people's own experiences with these things, their own life's tragedies and encouraging words. I, you know, once again, not alone. So. I always just like to do a mass thank you rather than a individual report because to be honest like there, there's enough comments in there that I could take one comment of somebody's little story and make a video about relating to that like every you know what I mean for weeks. My only thing with that is I don't know if people want me to highlight their, because I like to respect, you know, they put it on the public forum and that's fine, but I just like to respect people's, I wouldn't want to just take a comment and be like, today I'm picking so-and-so who commented on my last video and then kind of just make a whole video about that. Like, I don't know if that's fine, but... What I'm saying is I could write novellas in response to most of those comments, but that would take me a month. <laughs> okay, maybe a full week. I'll just write novellas. On another note, random side note, me and my sisters over Easter were playing, we were like, we had, we had turkey gut, right, we had turkey belly, we're on the couch, and we started do, playing like a little bit of like this or that, like a, just like what you could or couldn't live without or what your preference is, so, pasta or pizza, you know chicken or steak like and then we were trying to think of quirky ones but we did we were doing our favorite pass noodles which isn't that weird at all but and i said mine's penne which it is <laughs> then my oldest sister asked with lines or without lines and that is a very interesting distinction because this one has indentation. I prefer the smooth penne. This one I could not find at the store any smooth penne. No, no brands were carrying smooth penne. I haven't seen a smooth penne in stores in a long, long time. 
Um, <clears throat> but it's funny how we get that particular about, you know, about things. And uh, my sister's like, yeah, my, my friend would, like her, she has a, 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 a friend going through a, essentially divorce, not a divorce, long-term relationship that ended and she kind of needed somewhere to go to stay for a bit to get situated for a next situation. So my sister's like, yeah, you could come stay at my place for, you know, a, re a reduced fee kind of helps me out with some bills. And then you got a place to like, you know, stack up some cash and, um, <laughs> but anyways, she, she was all about, she's like, yeah, it's all about smooth penny. It's, it's gotta be smooth penny. And then I asked my sisters, and this is a classic one from back in the day, my, my buddy actually made it up, but I asked, you can answer this in the, in the comments if you want, what would you rather eat? And these are like the, the more wild ones. I said, a cigarette butt sandwich, a smoked cigarette butt sandwich, or a scab burrito. <laughs> They're both dry too, like no sauce. Nothing, just smoke darts, butts. In a bun. Or a dry ass tortilla packed with <laughs> scabs. <laughs> oh, nasty. It was unanimous. They chose cigarette, smoke cigarette butt sandwich. I, uh, I don't know what, I don't know. I don't even want to answer it, to be honest with you. But anyways, um, perfect plate. Went down smooth. When's the last time I even finished a whole meal on here? Well, I guess my last video I actually did. Um, I love when perfect plates go down like that, though. Like that. You know, one, one why? I've been craving this for like two weeks. That's why. I really like waited for the day to strike, and then I was like, "Today's the day to strike." All right. Once again, thank you, everybody. Um, I noticed there's, I think there's one for sure. There was like a super chat, which was pretty uh, substantial. It's fifty bucks in my last video so thank you for that i think there might have been another one so i always do this burpee indigestion thing at the end ah annoying <laughs> things that annoy me about myself anyways thank you to the next one you can live well stay true and take care of yourself up top okay peace love y'all if you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching, eat good, live well, and stay true.